Hey guys, and welcome to She Walks With God, my blog and YouTube channel teaching you how to live with purpose and create a life you love. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys this super easy DIY bath salts with essential oils that you guys can do at home all by yourself. If you love essential oils and bath salts or both together, this is perfect for you. I was amazed at how easy this was, like literally doesn't take that much time at all. The first time I actually made these, I gave them as gifts for Mother's Day and literally people have still been asking me for these, they love them, so that's really, really cool. Be sure to watch all the way till the end guys because I'm going to tell you where you can find these awesome, super beautiful looking labels that I put on my gifts that made them just like look super amazing. If you guys do enjoy this video and other content on my channel, subscribe to my blog, shewalkswithgod.com. And as always, if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button below and subscribe. If you want to know how to make your own essential oil bath salts at home, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so this is everything you're going to need to make your bath salts, some measuring spoons, your measuring cups, containers to make everything in and get going. This first recipe calls for Epsom salt, grapeseed oil, eucalyptus essential oil, and mint essential oil. I didn't actually have mint essential oil, so I just stuck with the eucalyptus, but I'm sure with the mint this recipe is even more amazing and relaxing. Go ahead and grab your measuring cup. You're going to start with two cups of Epsom salt and just use any kind of container that you have. These I just have and we never use, so I don't really care and I'm not planning on eating out of them, so that's no biggie. And go ahead and pour your two cups into your container. The next thing you're gonna do is grab your grapeseed oil. This is the one that I use and I really, really love. You're going to pour four to five tablespoons of grapeseed oil right on top of your Epsom salt. Next, you're going to grab your eucalyptus essential oil and you're gonna put 10 drops of that. If you have the mint, it's 10 drops of that as well. Once you're done, you're gonna just stir it up and mix it around. Make sure you stir it really well. Get all the grapeseed oil and the essential oils blended. This smells absolutely amazing, guys. I wish you could smell it in person. Go ahead and after that, put it in your jars. I like to use these mason jars. For our second recipe, it calls for Epsom salt, grapeseed oil, and lavender essential oil. Just like last time, you're gonna grab your container and pour in your two cups of Epsom salt. Use four to five tablespoons of grapeseed oil and then 10 to 15 drops of lavender essential oil. And just like last time, you're going to mix everything together really well in your container. Make sure everything's blended. And once you're ready, go ahead and scoop your bath salts into your mason jar containers or whatever containers you have. Our last and final recipe calls for Epsom salt, grapeseed oil, lavender essential oil, and rose essential oil. Again, you're going to start with your Epsom salt here. Grab your grapeseed oil, put six tablespoons of that in, and your rose essential oil. I use rose absolute. Go ahead and put 20 drops of that in there. Stir that really well. Grab your lavender essential oil. Put 10 drops of that, and you're going to mix it all up really well. And once you're done with that, go ahead and start scooping it into your container. Here you guys can see those gorgeous labels that I had mentioned to you earlier. I absolutely love these. The round ones are for the tops of my mason jars, and you can see I printed them on like a glossy, kind of thicker paper because I wanted them to get glued to the tops and the other two I just printed on like a thicker kind of printing paper so they had some kind of thickness to them. Here I have my scissors, my rubber cement glue, and my string for attaching my labels. Go ahead and cut out your top labels that are a little bit glossy. I'm going to attach these with the rubber cement. Just a disclaimer, make sure you're 18 years or older if you're using the rubber cement. If not, make sure you have a parent present. 
and take this, glue it right onto the top of your mason jar and it's gonna look like this, I love it. And then the other label that you cut out and attach with your string, it's so gorgeous. I love it so much, guys. So this is the finished product here with all of the labels. I love the glossy tops. I think they just make them look like such a beautiful gift for giving to anybody. These are the lavender rose. I put them in smaller jars because I ran out of the big ones. So these are the gift bags that I used for my gifts for Mother's Day. I just wanted to kind of show you guys because I thought they were so pretty and I loved them so much. All right guys, so that is it. It's super easy, like I said, it takes very little time and it ends up looking amazing. If you guys wanna try these on your own and get these awesome, beautiful, gorgeous labels, check out yesterday on tuesday.com. If you head over to Pinterest or our website, just got plenty of other recipes and kind of essential oil DIYs with bath salts and things like that. So really, really, really awesome. Check them out and try it for yourself. Before you guys go, my question for the day for you guys is what is your favorite essential oil scent that you would like in your bath salt? Mine personally is lavender. I love, love, love lavender. It's so relaxing. It just makes me want to go to sleep. Be sure to share in the comment section below, guys. I would love to hear from you. I will see you guys next week. Until then, remember to live with purpose and create a life you love. I'll see you guys.